two medals here at, in Fukuoka. We move along to the men's 200 metres breaststroke final. We will see the world record holder in this field. Oh, big roar from the crowd for the former world record holder, Ipe Watanabe. Bronze medals in this event back in 17 and 19. And on the key, the 29-year-old from Iceland is in lane one. Two Americans in this final. In seven, it's going to be Josh Matheny. First World Championships, he's the World Junior Champion in this event from 2019. Kasper Corbeau from the Netherlands in lane two. He finished seventh in Budapest in this event. World Junior record holder is Dong Zhihao, 4 last night. He had the fastest last 50 of all the finalists last night in the semis. So the second of the Americans in lane three, and that is Matt Fallon, the 20-year-old at his first World Championships. Can he take the treble? Chin Hai Young, winner of the 50 and the 100, three golds at this meet, looking to be the first person in history to take the 50, 100, 200 treble. Well, he's done it all. He's the world record holder. He won the title at the Olympics, and he is the defending champion, Zach Stubbledy Cook of Australia. So the men's 200 breaststroke final with Stubbledy Cook and Chin Hai Young in four and five. Stubbity Cook, the world record holder, does all his work on the last two laps. And we've got the fastest breaststroke in the world, Chin. Two Chinese swimmers. Chin will go out fast. Away in the men's 200 breaststroke final, and it's the defending champion and world record holder, Stubbledy Cook in four, and Chin Ho Young wants to win the treble here. He's won the 50, he's won the 100, now for the 200. He is in lane five. He's one of two Chinese swimmers here, two Americans as well. Yeah, look at that off the pullout. Body length ahead of Stubbledy Cook, that's not unexpected. What we want to see is how fast is Chin want to take this out over the first 100 meters 0.9 under world record pace at the 50 the intentions are clear stubbity cook he won't be in the picture to that last 100 meters but how big is that lead going to be chin's got the potential to turn under 60 seconds at the 100 meter mark and it looks like that's exactly what he wants to do well he's taking it out very hard indeed stubbity cook was seventh second last at the 50 and he's only made up uh, about one position, if any at all, as they go down to the halfway point. Not unexpected, as Bobby Hurley mentioned. Chin it is. Inside world record pace by 1.17 seconds. Here's our clear-cut leader now. Stubbledy Cook starts to make his move. Yeah, swimming through waves there in the top of yellow lanes. 1.2 is that lead gap at the moment. Chin still holding length on his stroke. That's Stubbledy Cook's world record line in that lead needs to be probably under one second for Stubbity Cook to give him a chance at the gold medal. Chin having a brilliant swim right now. He's going to start to hurt coming in here, but he's got really good pullouts. Well under world record pace, and it's 1.04. This is going to be tight. What an Arby started to 
tyre. He was in second place, but in lane number five, it's Chins. Doubledy Cook is out after him. Gee, he's only got 25 metres now to try to make up that gap. It's the Chinese star, Chin Hei Young, in front. And I don't think Doubledy Cook will get there now. This is going to be interesting. Here will it be a world record? Surely it will. Oh. Chin Hei Young, he's going to smash the world oh. record. He has smashed it, 205.48. He takes the gold and he takes the breaststroke treble. Doubledy Cook, the silver. Fallon, the bronze. Chin oh. Hei Young... Welcome to World Swimming. Three gold medals here. First man in history, first swimmer in history to claim the treble at the One World Championships. And he has destroyed that world mark of Stubbledy Cook. Well, that was really something. 205.4. Doesn't he love it? What a week it's been in the pool for China. Wow, we knew it was going to be close. It wasn't close, almost a full second. Well, he's got the speed. He's got more endurance than we thought. Knew it would be around one second at, with 50 to go. Stubbity Cook outsplit him only by 0.1 of a second across that last 50 metres. Here it is. This is the last turn. What helps him, he's got such a good pull down there. It's one second at the touch, but it's more than that straight after the pullout. Look at the world record line. That's a big margin over 200 metres. And it's the first time we've seen Stubbity Cook get beaten in the 200 for three years. And Chin has completed the treble, the 50, the 100. And now the 200. A world record, 205.48 to Chin Hei Young. Stubbledy Cook silver this, this time and Fallon the bronze. And a world junior record there to Dong. Certainly nailed it tonight here in Fukuoka. Suzuki Kitajima, four Olympic gold medals. And he is the man to present the medals here in the men's 200 breaststroke. And the United States, Matt Fallon, getting his first world championship medal. Flew home on that last 50 as he's renowned for 207.74. And Zach Stubbledy Cook, he loses his world record. And last year's win is now followed up with this year's silver medal. No doubt that'll fuel him for the next 12 months. Chin Ho Young, an amazing swim in a world record time. And what a world championships he's enjoying. The 50, the 100, and now the 200 as well. A world record, 205.48. Amazing to see Kosuke Kitajima here in the building. Japan Japan's greatest ever swimmer for Olympic gold medals in the breaststroke as you said 100 and 200 in Athens and Beijing
He's pretty understated, isn't he? For a man who's achieved such a rare feat here. The breaststroke treble. Sometimes you get the 100 metre breaststrokers who will go down to the 50 and sometimes they'll go up to the 200, but rarely do you get the 50 and the 200 mixing over the top of the 100 as well. Never been done before. So no male or female in any stroke, including freestyle, has won all three distances at the World Championships. Kaylee McEwen has a chance to do that tomorrow night in the women's backstroke. But uh, since the addition of the 50 meter form strokes in 2001 and the 50 freestyle back in, what was that, the early 90s, no one's done all three. There's been a few swimmers that have medaled in all three distances, but no one has claimed gold. And this man has done it, Chin Hei Young. A lot of people thought he could really give Stubbity Cook a push. No one thought he'd break the world record by over half a second. So Boyd doesn't his swims this week really change the breaststroke landscape over the next 12 months. He, uh, as I mentioned, is quite understated. I guess that is sometimes the Chinese way, but he would be very, very satisfied. And, uh, well, he won't have the 50 to swim at the Paris Olympics, but he will have the 100 and 200, and that makes things very, very interesting with Zach Stubbledy Cook still there. Yeah, breaststroke in recent times has gone to another level. He says he wants the 100 world record as well. Adam Peaty working hard this week, no doubt, in his long run up to Paris. It's going to take a time quicker than what we've seen this week to win those breaststroke events there. It might take two world records to win the 100 and 200 breaststroke in Paris next year. That would really be something.